Well, now it's less than a year because. Hi everyone. Yeah, I had I had to stop because I saw the drops land here. It's like and nobody else wanted to drop. So. <laughs> like all right, we're starting. Let me change scenes over to this scene. Oh, ads are still going. Oh wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this up, so then it should be good. This game isn't loud from what I remember. Oh, I can barely hear it myself. Turn it up a little bit more. <laughs> so, this game came out last January. I had to, I had to remember. It came out, they had Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Um come out in November of 2021 yeah November of 2021 right after Just Dance 2022 first came out oh, I'm changing the scenes for this explanation and then in January of 2022 they released this game so literally two months later they released yet another Pokemon game and then in November of 2022 so last November they released Pokemon Scarlet and Violet so they released three Pokemon games in like basically a whole like a whole year span yes this is the second most recent yeah and it has better graphics than scarlet and violet in my opinion and this is not my first time playing this game i'm on a separate profile because you can't have multiple saves i'm gonna i don't remember what i used before i'm just gonna click the first one also this game takes place in the past so, some things might, there might be different than um, other Pokemon games. Like the Pokedex is a straight up book. Like it's not even, it's not even, what's it called? It's not even technology. It's a literal book. Just paper. Hi Mario. And also at any time, I don't care when, there's where is this? Oh, I should have made it cheaper for these streams, but it's a it's 500. This one, this sound. There you go. That sound. You can try to use that to troll me with fake shinies. If I'm so focused on the screen that I don't see the chat, then you'll probably get me with it. But if I'm looking at the chat, you're probably not gonna get me with it. If I have to be honest, because the chat's right here. Literally, I can I just see something in the chat. And the, there, there it is. But that sound comes straight out of this game. And whenever a shiny is nearby, that sound will play in game. And that'll basically tell me there's a shiny nearby. And y'all can try to get me with that with the, with the sound effect. Get some, get some free highlight material for the last, for the last, um, for this stream. And Thursday stream, which is the last stream of August, which will be the last chance to get some highlights for the highlight reel. And just like my just like my previous Pokemon game playthrough of Pokemon Violet, I'll be doing this entirely on stream as well. Except for like grinding levels and um, getting the ability to move on to the next um, section of the map, the um, the Hizui region, because you have to up your Pokédex level or what? No, your Star level to move in to move to the next area. So I'll do all of that off stream because I'm not spending my time on stream doing that. Unless I have to do, unless it's like very quick. And also, here are the three starters. We have Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawott. And in my original playthrough, I went with Oshawott, the one on the right, if you aren't familiar with these. And and I think, I don't if I remember, I didn't really like Hizui and Typhlosion that much. Like, just overall. The typing isn't bad, but it shares typing with Chandelure. And, um... 
it also and it also just doesn't it looks exactly the same pretty much well, actually all of them kind of do but i think i'm gonna go with rowlet on this one because i i like his and decidui and i'm not gonna go well actually no i'll have to complete the pokedex for this game oh goodness oh goodness i i probably won't i probably won't bother with the pokedex actually I'm, i would i'll probably i think i'll have to complete the pokedex to move through the story at some point so this is gonna go great Also, I'm not reading the dialogue. I don't have time for that. This isn't my first time playing this game, like I said. So, I kind of have, I kind of know what happens. And I technically didn't beat this game entirely. I didn't do the final boss fight because it was too hard. Um, there aren't even gems in this game because this, it, it basically, our character who we're playing as got sent back into the past and the entire point of the story is to get him back to his current timeline that doesn't happen in the game by the way you don't actually go back to the present in this game I wish you did that'd be amazing but you don't you stay here and basically to move to the next location there's four four zones in this game you have to increase your star level which it goes up to level 10 and you have to um, catch a certain amount of Pokemon, level up their Pokedex entries, do all this weird stuff to level up the star level to move on to the next area. It's not, there's not a ton of requirements. It's literally just the same requirement every time. And you only have to do it, I think, three times. No, actually, you don't have to, like, because there's only three times, there's only three areas you have to unlock in the game. But it gets better towards the end when you can fly, you can surf on the water, you can climb walls. What else can you even do? You can dig up spots in the ground. That one's not the most interesting one. But the flying is a lot better in this game than it is in Scarlet and Violet. If I had to be honest. That's what, the, the thing is, they made this game and Scarlet and Violet at the same time. And I think it, it's a little bit obvious of which game they spent more time making because scarlet and violet are just as broken as just dance 2023 pretty much it runs at 15 frames per second it doesn't crash thank goodness but it it's it has horrible graphics it lags like crazy it like the graphics are super crunchy sometimes and then here we got breath of the wild graphics pretty much So, this is where we get to run around. Yeah, Scarlet and Violet is getting its new DLC in, wait, hold on, let me check the calendar. In literally two weeks from tomorrow, the, the, the first wave of the DLC for that game comes out. And I did buy it, and I will play through it. Wait a minute, how am I supposed to, oh goodness. All right, we're beating this in three streams then, wait, how many, wait. We're beating this in two streams. No, three. Three total. Maybe more. Because there's still two other Tuesdays that I could do this. And I'll probably do more of this. I might do this on Monday streams also. So then it doesn't take a long time. Because I'll be doing that DLC as well. Oh, okay. this is going to be... I don't know why I started this. When I, like, I, did not I did not register the fact that the DLC comes out in two weeks. Until literally right now. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do, I think, since I'm not really going for the extreme 13Ks at the moment, I got a lot of them very fast, and a lot of the ones that I have left are either extremes I'm not good at, or they're extremes that are just really broken, and I don't want to try and 13K them. So I think I'll make Monday and Tuesday both Pokemon playthrough streams. So then I get two of those, and I should be able to get this done before the DLC comes out for Scarlet and Violet. I only got the Scarlet DLC. So, on the 13th... Actually, I don't even stream on Wednesdays. 
on, okay, forget, the third, the 14th of September, which is the, that Thursday, is actually, yeah. Oh, that sounds, that sounds like a good idea. Oh yeah, I love, I love this part. The part where they introduce the starters in every game is probably one of the most cutest parts of the game. Every, every single game. Look at how old these Pokeballs are. Like, they're made out of wood. I'm 99% sure. I'm pretty sure it's made out of wood in this in these games. If I remember correctly. And you get 50 of them. But this part is where it gets really fun. So there's two ways you can catch Pokemon in this game. The, the normal way. The OG way where you get into battle with the Pokemon and you just throw a Pokeball at them. But then there's... Another way that is a lot of fun to, to do, and I probably won't get it right on the first try because I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm also not using the upgraded Pokeballs, the ones that can fly really far. Okay, so there's Oshawott. I already got him in my original playthrough. There's Cyndaquil. Not really want Cyndaquil. And here's Rowlet. And look at this. You can start up just throw it. Let's go. There you go. Got him. It's a lot quicker than doing it in the battle. And it's a lot more satisfying. Unless you have horrible aim, that part, that's a lot of fun to do. And even, even if you do have horrible aim, I don't think it matters. Because later on, you get a certain set of Pokeballs that can fly further than regular Pokeballs. Oh, I have to catch all of them. I forgot to catch all of them. Oh, down one headshot. Oh, I guess that one didn't work. Get back here. Get back here. I'm gonna get you. Oh, rude. There we go. So yeah, later on in the game, you get these, you get feather balls and jet balls. I know there's one that, the feather ball, wing ball, and jet ball. That's right. That was a, and basically they go up in tier and they fly farther. The, the jet ball, I think is the best one. And that thing could go flying. And there's Pokemon that are actually flying in the game that you can that you can only get with those Pokeballs. So, I'm gonna have to get those at some point. And I'm also gonna try and use Pokemon that I didn't use in my original playthrough. Except, I don't even remember what Pokemon I used in my original playthrough. So, there's a good chance that they'll be... I might end up using duplicates. Oh yeah, here comes the Pokedex. Oh wait, do we get the Pokedex here? Or do I have to wait for that? It looks like we have to wait for that. But that's the entire point of the game is... Other than getting back to the present, which we don't even get back to the present in the game. We have to complete the entire Pokedex. All, well, however many Pokemon there are in this game, I don't remember. And you have to get Arceus. Well, actually, no you don't. You don't have to get Arceus to complete the Pokedex. Because I completed the Pokedex and I don't have Arceus on my main save. Even though I can get Arceus if I wanted to spend the time beating him up and losing probably a couple hundred times. In this game, I don't I think there's, I think it's 242, I think. I think it's 242 in this game. And most of the recent ones have like around 100 new Pokemon in their Pokédex, but then they add on Pokémon from older games into the into there as well. So they're like, I think Scarlet and Violet has like 90. 
like brand new Pokemon. And then the game adds on like 300 other ones that you, that you also have to catch. And then the DLC that is coming out soon is going to add the entire rest of the Pokemon that aren't in that game. Well, Scarlet and Violet will basically have them all by the time the second round of the DLC comes out. Um, yes, there is. There's that. I think it's 1,000. I know that Gimme Ghoul was number 999, and then Golden Go was number 1,000. But I don't know, like, how many are in. How many total Pokemon are there now? There's like. There's 1,010. That's a lot. And it's about to be a lot more. I think it's about to be more than that because of the Pokemon that are being revealed that are going to be added to that Pokedex. And there has not been any game that has had all 1,010 in one game. And even with the DLC coming out, it's still not going to have every Pokemon in there. I think there's still like 20 I think that are going to be missing or something like that. There are some leaks a while back that said that basically the entire... 1,000 Pokemon are going to be added, except for like 20, or something like that. I just know that there's like 700 Pokemon being added to the game that weren't already in there, and a lot of them are getting their their first appearances on the Nintendo Switch, actually, which is really cool. Yeah, though, I don't even remember who they are, what Pokemon they are. So, in the top right, you can see the current story quest, and then there's a marker that tells you how far away you are from it. And we meet this guy, who d who right now seems like he's a nice guy, but later, you're gonna find out his true intentions. But that's because of something else that happens, on happens later in the game, that I'll save, that I won't mention, because we're gonna be playing through the entire thing on stream anyway. But also, if you if you if you've played Pokemon Diamond and Pearl or Platinum actually, then you're gonna see some very some a lot of similarities to those characters in this game. There's one literally right there. Basically, this is the Sinnoh region, but very far in the past. So yeah. That's I don't know why there's a lowland Pokemon in here and you know Pokemon and Pokemon that have never existed in the Sinnoh region but we're not going to talk about that because Pokemon can do whatever they want with their Pokedex they put whatever they want in the game because this is the Sinnoh region from like probably the 1900s or something like that and then we don't know where any of these Pokemon went to in the future Okay, there's Captain Silene. And she's gonna be giving us the like requirement to move on to the next area. So for, I think area two, you need like star level, I don't know. We'll find out probably very soon. And I'm I'm gonna be doing this the entire stream. I won't be swapping over to just dance because I did that yesterday. And I already danced quite a lot today. And I mean, I got, I think I got a new high score on new rules on 2023. So that was cool. And then, but besides that, I was just doing random dances that I felt like doing. And then my save data corrupted again. So I was like, great. Oh, nice. I should do another community remix soon. But I don't think I'm gonna, like, I want to do one soon. But the last time I did one, not the one before Walking on Sunshine, which was Montero, that took forever to edit. And then Walking on Sunshine took a while to edit because I, at first I did it on CapCut, and then there's a maximum limit for how many videos you can have on the timeline and so many people um, sent in videos for that community remix 
that it hit that maximum, and I had to change editing softwares for the for the rest of that video. So I'm gonna have to find another editing software before I do another community remix, because I'm not using Filmora again, because that software is extremely laggy when you have more than like five videos on the timeline, and I had like 20. So the software crashed quite a few times. The, the crazy thing is Filmora, I had to pay for Filmora too, and it still has issues. And I don't use it anymore. That's why I use CapCut. But I might look, I, I don't, I looked at Premiere. I tried it when I had an Adobe subscription for my classes. And I was like, I could not find out, figure out a single thing. So I was like, nope, back to CapCut. So I'm stuck with CapCut for now. And I think the only solution I could do to keep it on CapCut is put like five videos or like put the maximum that I could put on there, put all those in, and then cut it at a certain point, and then export that entire part, and then add that, and then add more videos. I think that's what I would have to do, like export it in like multiple sections. And it's not, it's not a very long process to export a video. It doesn't, unless, it, unless it's like two hours long, then it'll definitely take a while. But I don't have any intentions of making a two hour video anytime soon. So, I think it'll be fine. Plus, like right now with CapCut, I barely use the effects that are included with it. So... I could change editing software if I wanted to, but with the whole, with my current editing style, I have the masking where I put the, the camera above the gameplay, and I would have to learn how to do that on a new software, and I don't want to like, spend the time figuring that out, So, and I'm not trying to like do professional editing where I'll need something like Premiere. If I wanted to do that, I'll probably just hire someone to do it for me because I would not want to bother doing that myself. But speaking of videos, I do, I have, I have some more video ideas, some more videos that I probably should be recording that I haven't recorded yet, like Radioactive for my 200 subscriber special and I'm almost at 300 subscribers. <laughs> haven't recorded that yet because I had a video idea for it where I was gonna learn all three coaches and do all of them, but then I tried doing player one and literally flopped. So then I decided, no, no. I'm only doing player two and I'll figure out some way to make it worthy of being a 200 subscriber special. And then I have to, and then I have to do videos for Sacrifice and DJ Gato's Fallen in Love at some point. Sacrifice uh, will probably be done first, and then DJ Guys Fallen in Love will probably be after. I know that for sure. High Formless. Oh, that Babero is about to get obliterated. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, exactly. An entire a two-hour video would take the entire day to edit. I can only imagine if when I start doing videos for platinum trophies, how long those are gonna take to edit. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an entire process. But like most of the time, those will probably come straight from my streams anyway. So I'd probably just be able to go and cut things in, and just put like the important parts in. And I certainly won't be doing like Every single, I, I certainly won't be recording every single platinum trophy I I end up doing. Like I'll do the iconic ones like Spider Man and like others, but like if I'm gonna do everything, if I'm gonna do Elden Ring at some point, I might just have that be like 
a casual game that I do when I'm when I'm done dancing. In, like instead of streaming that and record or recording that, because if I stream it, then I'm gonna want to speed run as many things as possible. So then I don't like, and I probably won't want to explore everything. I probably will explore everything regardless. And if I'm gonna make a video for it, then I'm gonna want to make sure to record specific things, do all the stuff, and probably spend less time exploring so I can just focus on the trophies. But if I have it be a casual game, ah, I, feel I saw good. that one coming. Can't get for that one. I knew that I wouldn't. Yeah, Elden Ring is gonna be one a casual game that'll probably take me like the, take me the entire next year to get a platinum trophy on. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It probably won't. Especially if I have that be like my main casual game that I do, it'll probably take it probably won't take a very long time. Especially if I get into it, I'll probably spend like the entire day. I'll be here like you probably won't even hear from me of when I get it. I'll be here just sitting. In my chair, I'll be like, probably dying a few times. And then I'll miss like every single Discord message that is that is aimed directly at me. So every, I'll, I'll probably miss all of those. And then I'll be, I'm not going on Discord like five hours later and then see like 30 Discord messages related to me. And I'm like, oh, I didn't read that. Oh, sorry. But like, I wonder, like, I think there's some games that I might just n never, like, like, I've heard about, um, Crash 4. I've heard about that one. And honestly, I think I probably could do that one. That one, I don't think that would be too bad for me. But then I hear about Super Meat Boy, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like, if I'm gonna try any of those crazy platinum trophies, then I'm probably gonna do them on another account. No, I'm kidding. I'm not doing Meat Boy ever. Unless I do it on a separate account. Like, unless I, if I just want to play the game, I'll do it on a separate account, so then it's never on my actual profile. But Crash 4, I, I, I would probably, I would probably, I would definitely be willing to try that one. Especially, like, I know about Crash Bandicoot. And I've watched videos of, like, people's platinum trophy lists. And then also videos of, like, people's hardest platinums that they've gotten. And I was like, Crash 4, Wolfenstein, all of these crazy games. I'm like, I like that one. I watched, like, five videos. No, that's, that's definitely not accurate. I watched, like, two or three videos of Wolfenstein. And I was already hooked. Like, I was hooked. Now, will I do that right away? No, absolutely not. Maybe for a milestone, though. Maybe like 20 platinum. And then I'll be like, oh, time to get, time to get all the shovelwares ready. <laughs> no. No, don't go to Oshawa. No, I almost went to Oshawa. I almost, I almost picked the wrong starter. Yeah, pick Rowlet. Yeah, plus, I know, I like, Wolfenstein, it's got that... FPS feel and I would say, I wouldn't say I'm like great at first-person shooters But I'm not bad at them I've played Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 1 and 2 and the Battle for Neighborville or, Yeah, and I wasn't bad at those and then I play I played a whole ton of Fortnite everyone knows that probably and I'm not bad at Fortnite. I got 17 kills and one literally today and then, I think that's it for shooter games. But I've seen the gameplay of Wolfenstein, and I honestly think with enough practice, I could get that one. Crypt of the Necrodancer? Now, I've heard about that game, but I, should, I don't know a single thing about that platinum trophy. But I can only imagine how difficult it'll be, given the fact that you said it's the hardest platinum of all time. Like, Super difficult platinums would be the ones that I would try for, that I'd go for, for like my milestone platinums, like my 10th platinum. All I know for sure is Last of Us is one of those first 10. Cause I've played 
all of those games. All of them, but I've played... Actually, no, I have played all of them. I've played the PS3 one. I've played the PS4 version. And I've played The Last of Us Part 2. I've played the original Last of Us so many times that I'm surprised I didn't get a platinum trophy on it when I did play it. <laughs> but... I honestly think I could get the platinum on The Last of Us, the original game, really fast. Just with my knowledge of that game. 10 out of 10 difficulty, 900 hours? Oh my goodness. Here I thought Fortnite with 999 was insane. And that that's only like a, like a 3 out of 10. And then we got Crypt of the Neck Dancer. 10 out of 10. Oh yeah, Last of Us will be fine. I might honestly go, for, even though part one, the PS5 one, doesn't have the difficulty trophies, I've beaten the game on hard difficulty, I think. So I'll probably go with that difficulty, just because I've already beaten the game before on that difficulty, and I know that game fairly well. If I fairly well, like, I've played that game 20 times probably now. You would think after like 20 times of playing that game, that I would have the platinum trophy on my, on my other profile, but no. I wasn't going for collectibles in the, in those playthroughs. I was literally just playing the game to play the game and play the story. So I probably, if there's, if there's a trophy for beating that game over 10 times, I would have that. Like that would be the only trophy I would have. And the difficulty trophies, of course. And actually, hold on, I wanna check, I think, let me check. I have the PlayStation app right here. Never forget that. I'm going to PSN profiles for this. Oh, oh no, not this guy. It's Volo. Oh, look at that. You already know. If I'm on PSN profiles right now, or if I was already on there, that I was looking up stuff about Platinum Trophies before my stream. Oh, yeah. The Firefly coins. I can only imagine how hard those would be. Okay. Um, I'm looking at The Last of Us. D just uh, look for, look and see. Where's the? Oh, it's right here. I was looking for. Yep, I'm. I've I've wa watched. I'm surprised my homepage isn't loaded with those videos. Actually, it probably is actually loaded with those videos. Oh wait, no, it's part two. That's right. I was gonna say, like, I honestly think I could beat part one in permadeath. That's how much I've played that game. That yeah, I could probably beat that game in permadeath mode. Maybe if I set it to per chapter though. The entire game, I would probably rage quit the second I got killed by a bloater. <laughs> Cause that's a guarantee. Actually, yeah. Except I do know the tricks to obliterating the bloater in like two shots. And I'm horrible at it. Oh yeah, the gr grounded. Actually, no, I tried Grounded on The Last of Us Part 1, the, uh, well, I was on the PS4, and I flopped. Well, actually, no, I didn't. At first, I was fine. But then the part right before the first bloater appearance, mm, no. The, the, the bloater in the gym obliterated me. Not, like, it's, like, it wasn't, actually, it was hard. It was on the hardest difficulty, obviously. But, it, it was actually it obliterated it obliterated my ammo i had no ammo i didn't even have a brick hi led who's bald oh oh now this is good this is gonna this is gonna be oh Oh yeah, I forgot, in the battle mode in this game, you can just run around the entire battlefield. You can get you can get all the angles of the battle. <laughs> oh, this guy right here. Volo? If you if, if you if you've played Pokemon Diamond and Pearl or Platinum, that's this guy is the descendant of the champion from that region. 
And this guy straight up wiped my entire Pokemon team like three or four times in my original playthrough. One, because I was extremely underleveled. And two, I just did not have the Pokemon for that. It was an actual disaster. But I know that now and I'm, I'm prepared. I've only just started the save file, but I'm ready. I'm ready. I just, I'll think I'll be ready until I get to that point of the game. And then I probably won't be. Cause this guy is actually difficult. The rest of the game is not hard at all. Like you can beat this game really easily by just following the story and you'll probably have around level 50s by the time you beat the first story, the main story. And then when you get to the post game story, you're gonna need like level 70s to beat to the to do the final boss battle. All right, here's oh yeah. So there's well, I mean I can't view all the areas, but there's one area here. There's another area here, and then one here I believe. Wait no no here. There's one here, one here, here, and then there's this one. The Obsidian Field Lands. the hydrate so for this you have to catch Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx and this is basically another tutorial basically teaching you all three different versions of a Pokemon encounter there's the um, the chill ones that are just hanging out, doing literally nothing, and let you throw a Pokeball at them. And then there's the ones that straight up run away, and you have to spend nine years trying to get them. And then there's the ones that straight up attack. They get angry, and you have to obliterate them. Oh, nice! I forgot when that one is, actually. I'm, I think it's soon. I know it's soon. It's sometimes it's like within the like the next few weeks. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's right. So here's Bidoof. I didn't even realize it was an online concert for for that. So well, that's that's cool. All right, so there's a there's another trick you can use when you're aiming. You can lock on to the Pokemon with the left trigger button, and then boom, got him. Yeah, Blackpink is on tour right now. You know what would be cool is if at the last concert, if they played the girls. Did they like? I I don't think they will, but it would be cool if they did. I mean, I shouldn't be saying that. I'm not going to the concert. Like, someone probably, someone probably knows the, someone would probably know the song list. Well, obviously the people who are, what's it, like, doing the behind the scenes would probably know the song list. But I know that they've changed the set list for the concert a few times. So they could, if they wanted to. And then we just see them start performing the choreography. You know, I watched um, the MV of it, of the girls, when it, I watched it a lot when it first, like, when it first came out, because I was trying to, like, get some of the details down, and no, I, I haven't learned it. I want to learn it at some point, but... I don't know if I'll learn that right now. I mean, I'm starting, I'm gonna start working on how you like that. Very, very soon. 
So, I don't think I'll have the time to learn both of those choreographies. It's gonna be, I'll, that'll make it a very frustrating process if I try to do both of those at the same time. And also, that's a 99% chance that I forgot the preview part for, um, for how I like that. I probably didn't. I probably have to go and do it again. I'll probably remember it. But I, even at that time, I didn't perfect it. But I will learn it before, I will try to learn it before the game comes out. Just so then I have a little bit of a head start on at least one of the extremes. Because I haven't had that chance yet. Where I already know the choreography for an extreme. Of course it has to be something official choreography. Like I can't just, like, levitating extreme. That was the first extreme I thought of that wasn't official choreography. Like. That's not an official choreography, so I kind of have learned that beforehand. And I haven't learned that extreme regardless. But then something like Pink Venom, or how you like that, I can learn those. And then when they get added into the game, then I would already know the choreography. I can only imagine like how Pink Venom would be in Just Dance. Like, actually knowing the choreography before it came out. Like, that would be the most satisfying like thing ever probably be like very easy to figure out the scoring for it except not to remember to like because I learned it with like all four members in the choreography because of Redu's fan made so I already know that the second I go to, to do that do, to do that in like just dance in some point in the future like I'm gonna have to relearn it again But for example, for how you like that, I'm only gonna learn Lisa's part. Like, I'm not gonna bother with the, with the other three members. At least, not at the moment. At some point in the future, maybe I will. But right now, I'm only focusing on the part that I'm actually going to play in the game. And yes... That was more damage than I expected it would be. There we go again. But I know that um, how you like that has a bunch of sections that have their moves reversed in the JD gameplay. I won't say what moves those are because that's leaks. Y'all got to wait for that. Or go look it up on the internet. It's probably on the internet at this point because of Gamescom. And in literally another week or two, there's going to be Insomnia. And they're going to have it there too. So... There's probably going to be a full gameplay of it somewhere. For anyone who hasn't already seen the full gameplay. But I'm just going to learn the moves. And then when it comes out in game, I'll bother with... Um, trying to remember. There's a button you can press. To like use last item. Whatever. I'll bother with reversing... Oh. Oh. <laughs> they were... Oh. Oh! Oh! Well, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, at least how you like that ends up being there because of the whole collab thing that, um, MZ and, um, her group are doing. Like, they're gonna need that gameplay if they were to do that. Or they're gonna be performing the official choreography. Which, that wouldn't be bad either. They could do that too. Yeah, if they have the opportunity to promote that, to promote it, then they should. But then that's just gonna mean more full gameplay videos are gonna end up on YouTube. But you know what's better is, all I have to do is just go on to perform from a leak. You know, I have the full gameplay, no HUD and everything on my laptop. So then anytime I want to watch it and like try to like learn the moves, I'm like, and I just start watching it. <laughs> I don't even use the YouTube get the YouTube video. Like the, the, from like one of those mods, even though I know those exist. And I know just as well that I could go onto that mod and play it from there if I wanted to, but no, no.
My thing is, I know that the videos, the full gameplays are gonna be out there, and technically, it's not gonna be illegal to watch them. Okay, mice. I'll definitely be on your stream after after I end, regardless if I if I raid you or not. I'll definitely be on there. But speaking of leaks, no leaks are allowed here, regardless of if the gameplay has been fully revealed through YouTube or through a convention or not. Like, I'm not allowing it. Basically, I should change it to say no full gameplays. But then people are gonna start leaking random stuff. Oh, nice. Oh my, I did, oh my goodness. I can only imagine how many screenshots I'm gonna have in mine. I could do it here too, I think. Yeah. Maybe I'll join for World Dance Floor, but I'm certainly not joining on the Connect because we already know what happened with that. I'll definitely, if I'm gonna join, I'm gonna do it on the Switch just because it gets hot in here at this time of the day and it's gonna stay at around this temperature for a while and it's not as bad out there where I normally do my dancing all right so we're almost an hour in and we finally completed the tutorial let's go and we got our uniform of the survey corps. And also for anyone wondering what um what like what when I start streaming the platinum trophy hunting, I'm gonna do Astro's Playroom first. And then after that I'm gonna do Spider-Man. The first one obviously, not not Miles Morales. I will do that one too, but I'm gonna do that after the first game. Because doing those out of order, I'm going to be so confused. Most likely. And for the most part, most of the Platinum Trophies will be uploaded onto a YouTube channel that I created yesterday. So... Oh. There we go. And... I won't, I won't upload all of them. Because I don't feel I don't think I'm gonna record every single one or upload every single one, but I will upload some of the more notable ones. Oh, I do need the hat too. I think I forgot the hat. Yep, sandals and there's not a hat. Where's my hat? Am I blind? Ah, uh, there we go. We're, we're good now. I guess there was in a hat. Uh, and of course, definitely for sure, any game that is uh, not family friendly that I want to try out and go for the Platinum on, I won't be streaming that. That's for sure. Unless it's like... Not... Uh, if it's like a lot of... Um, well, yeah. I, you got the idea. Oh, there's my hat. I, was, I wasn't wrong. I knew there was a hat. I was just a little bit early on that. Oh yeah, and also, I'm gonna def- I know that Just Dance 2023 doesn't have a Platinum Trophy, but the 100% um, trophy, the um, fastest record for it is 5 hours and 5 minutes of playtime, not all at once, probably. And I'm gonna try and beat that, cause I'm, cause I'm just that crazy. That I'm gonna try and beat that. I'm gonna try and do sub 4 hours, no not sub 4 hours, that's crazy, sub 5 hours sub four hours that would require like you playing my name is like a hundred times 
mega starring it every single time and what's it and um doing whatever else you have to do missing every single gold move for one of those attempts but when i do go for that one i'm going to i'm definitely <laughs> oops i pressed the wrong button Oh wait, we're supposed to do that. Anyway. When I go for the 100% on 2020, just in 2023, I'm gonna make an entire plan of what I'm gonna do so then I could complete it as fast as possible because I did it on the Xbox in five hours and 10 minutes of playtime. And I think I could do that. I think I can Cut, I think I could shave off a little bit of that if I um, set up an auto clicker with remote play and let it just keep playing Baby Shark over and over again. I could do that a lot quicker, for, probably. thing is the um the five I think the five hours um thing is based off of well that's based off of I, I'm, I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna get like super upset if I don't get the record of fastest completion because I'm not gonna spend my time making a bunch of accounts just to try and go for that like when I complete it I complete it and I'll and I'm moving on and that one certainly won't take too long, regardless of how long I do it, how long it takes to do it. But I'm not doing JD 2022 right away because those trophies, it's the same thing for like, for, the, for English. For Just Dance 2019 through 2022. And I, I could never, I mean, I'm, I've almost done it on 19 and 22 on the Xbox, and I don't want to do it again, but I, at some point I will do it, but I probably, I'll probably do it when I'm not, like, as, like, in between, after I've done, after I've done, like, a crazy difficult game, and I want to spend more time doing a super, like, not a difficult one, since I regularly play Just Dance, so it wouldn't be hard, especially since Hold on. Boom, I got the PS move. It'll be a lot easier to go for those since I have the PS move and I could use those. So I'll probably be able to get really good scores and complete it really fast. And I could do it sitting down also. Hi, Brandy. I'm literally just playing Pokemon and and talking about platinum trophies. That's all I've been doing for like the power for like the last like ten minutes. Um, since like I don't even remember. It, it it hasn't been a very long time. I know that. Big, but it's it's been I think. It's definitely been I think over a month. I think. I think at this point, what am I crafting? I'm crafting a pokeball. I could have crafted more, probably. Yeah, um, Indica and Rocky are also mods here. And Vince. The, enti the entire After Show gang is a moderator here, I'm 99% sure. If I forgot anybody, it's probably not intentional. Except I did forget Vince at first. And then I just, and then I remembered on, st and then I remembered randomly, I think, no, it was like, I randomly remember just in the middle of the day on some random day, I was like, oh, I forgot to mod Vince. <laughs> so I did it. Oh, here's my Pokedex. It's a straight up book in this game. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, this is where it gets annoying, isn't it? Th this is the part where we have to catch a bunch of Pokemon. Well, you know, it's not. Not yet. Oh, uh, it's the side quest. Of course. The infamous side quests. I'm not going to bother with those. I'm not trying to 100% this save file. And I certainly won't be doing that on my actual save file. I'm not doing all, like, 100 side quests or however many there are. Also, speaking of the after show thing, that's literally my outfit right there. Don't, we don't we don't talk about why it's sitting there and why it's in frame. But everything is over there. I just need I think one more thing. But it's 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 going to be good. I'm going to use it for more than just the after show event because it's um well it's one of my zebra verse story characters but i'm also using it for two upcoming videos on my channel they probably won't be out before that since one of them is probably gonna be a part of that event and then the other one i, I it's a, it's an entire whole thing because that outfit i mean it's not a hard outfit to, to put together but it's a really cool one and it's for a recently added map so it's it's a cosplay for a recently added map that I'm also using as my outfit for my character. Oh, I forgot about dodging in this game. Oh, this is- wait. This is- wait. Oh, it doesn't- I thought it was gonna look a lot more awkward than it did. Yep. I, think, I forgot what the date of that was- what the date for that is. But there's like a million Pokemon Go events coming up soon. So, that's great. I mean, it probably won't affect me much as long as my um, stream slot isn't at the time of that event. But I know Indica plays Pokemon Go also. So I'm sure that she's keeping up with the Pokemon Go events. Okay. Oh, there's a Bidoof. Oh, I forgot that that was my bit sound. Thanks for the bits, though. I should probably change that bits alert because that's legitimately this. Hold on, wait. That's this sound effect right here. This sound alert. It's literally the exact same one. It's the exact same one, and it's gonna get me. It, that's gonna get me if, with the fake shiny at some point if I don't change that. Oh, I'm going to be catching a million of those, probably. Oh, there's ads in a minute. That's great. You have to Starly without being spotted. This shouldn't be too hard, right? As long as I get in the grass. Oh, crouch. Oh, no, he spotted me. I forgot how to crouch. That's great. How do you... Someone, oh, my goodness. Wait, how do I... Nope, not that button. This one. No. This one. No, not that one. That one. No, that's the Pokedex. Not that one. No, it is this one. Game controls. That's so bad that I forgot how to play this game. Alright, all right, let's get him. Oh, right on the head! Hey, got him! I might have to catch that being spotted. Ah! Oh, rude! I better be running. I'm gonna get this one instead. No, not, no, not that one. This one. Yeah!
Why does she look? What is going on? What is going on with her? I I thought that this game could never with graphic issues like this, but I guess. Oh, she's just gone. She's gone. Like I'm out. Let's just have to go over here. This is the area with the weasels, I believe. Yes. Where did she- where did she come from? She just magically appeared in front of me. She got some magical abilities. Don't mess with her. She- she might- she might teleport and, uh, attack. Oh yeah, I forgot this game you can die. <laughs> well, not- you can't die in this game, but you can faint. Just like a, just like your Pokemon. And now we're going that way. You know, it'd be amazing if I actually find a real shiny in this stream. Like, that should be the goal. Find an actual shiny. Hey, I can craft now. But I'm not at a crafting bench, obviously. Let's go and craft potions. I forgot to get recipes. What do I have to do? What do I have to catch? I did! I caught- oh wait. Um... Okay. So I could- I was like, I'm free! For now at least. What do I have in my party? Oh, I got some interesting stuff. I'm trying to remember, where's the Alpha Rapid Ash at? I want to see it. I'll try it's over there. Oh, uh, honestly, I kind of want to use a Rapid Ash. Yeet! I'm down to use a Rapid Ash, honestly. We have to catch it. I have to catch it regardless for the Pokédex. So, is that over here or is it behind this rock? It's clearly not over here. That's a bit doof. Maybe I'm so early in the game that the alphas don't show up yet. Wait, that's an Eevee! That's a rare spot. Wait, I gotta get it. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get you, Eevee. Ah, oh, he ran away! No, get him! Hehehe. <laughs> Yes! I got an Eevee! Let's go! I might use that in my in my team. Actually, I might turn that into a Sylveon. If the game lets me. Because Sylveon could help with the um What's it called? Oh my goodness, I forgot. The final box. I don't know why it took me that long to figure out why not then I remember remember what I was trying to say. But I got it eventually. I'm going back to Professor Laventon. So I can continue so then I can continue the story. Cause I got quite the uh, collection of Pokemon. And I'm trying to get as much of the story done today. 
But it looks like I probably there's a good chance I might not complete this in the next like three or four streams. I mean maybe there's a potential. There's a potential. But I don't remember how long it took for me to complete this originally because I played it. My my original playthrough was last year. But if I don't complete it in time for the Scarlet DLC, then I'll just take a break from this playthrough. And I will start the Pokemon Scarlet DLC. So that I could do that while it's brand new. Hey, look at all those Pokemon. $1,000. And there's the Pokedex level, I think. Yeah, reaches level six, five, five, seven, five, two, two. And we are almost to to uh, star level one. Okay, so I have to catch more Bidoof and Starly. There's a not, there's a good chance that I'll probably find. I could get a shiny Bidoof, honestly. At this rate. At the rate I'm going. What's my quest? How do I say that? This? No, no. This. Yes. I have to catch enough Pokemon to go up, to get my research level up. I don't want to go for Shanks because Shanks can be hard to catch. Oh, that was close. And got the feet. No, no, excuse me, you're not leaving. No! I won't. Don't mommy again. Don't mommy. Okay. Okay. That's great. Alright, Badoof, you're mine. Okay. Got him. I should get Buizel, because I don't think I have Buizel on my Pokedex yet. Right, be sneaky, sneak up on Boizel. Wait until I get close enough where I can lock on. And fire! Dang it! Ah, oh, come on. I have to beat you up now. Don't, don't, don't attack with your tail. Excuse me. We don't allow that here. Family friendly. Stop. Stop twerking. Even though. You, okay. Stop. Whatever. Whatever you're doing, it doesn't look family friendly. Stop. Oh, I'm gonna run out of pokeballs. Better stay in. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I only have one Pokeball left. Better use it wisely. Look at those Badoof. Okay, how do I craft? I thought I could craft. Oh wait, here we go. Craft 22 Pokeballs. There we go. Now I'm set. Now, I, now I'm not going to run out of Pokeballs. Bop. Bop. There you go. I'm not going for Starly, unless it's a shiny. And I'm going to have to eventually... I'm gonna go for Wormpole.
Oh, look, there's another Eevee. Excuse me, I heard you. Can't be sneaky. Oh, there's the, there it is. There's the big boy. Look at him. Or her. Um, excuse me. Look at that giant rapid ash. Uh, don't. N never mind. Anyway, moving on. You know, maybe for future streams, I'll move the chat over to the other side. So then if I if someone tries to do the shiny sound thing, I won't see it almost right like almost immediately after it happens. Cause I think that'll make it more interesting if I don't notice it right away. I'll bother those broken I don't care. I already got a few of them anyway. You know, the one thing about this game that I could do, that I could, that I like, is how long you could spend just running around catching stuff. As long as you have unlimited Pokeballs, you can spend, like, hours just running around here. Um, you didn't miss much. I've literally just been trying to progress the story, and I can't really progress until I catch enough Pokemon. Why are they not staying in the Pokeballs? Oh, that one broke out again. Alright, I'm gonna go, go back to the professor. And see if that's enough to level me up. To research level 1 or whatever it's called. Oh, that's an, oh my goodness. That's so that's not enough. Oh wait, return to the village. Is that enough? I hope it was. I know I'm gonna have to do that eventually. Complete that, but I'd rather do that off stream. Okay, wh who do I have to talk to? Or where do oh, don't tell me I have to. Oh, I do have to complete that. Dang it. I have to get the level up. Nah, this took a while. Unless I do certain things that that would get me more points. Like a, no, not that. A Pokedex. Let me look up Bidoof, for example. Number of defeat, I have to beat up some Bidoof. And then Starly. I have to beat up some Starlies, too. Shanks. Alright, Bidoof. Time to battle some Bidoof, I guess. I can't wait until I get my first mount. And then this will take- this will be a lot easier getting around. But for now, I have to walk slowly everywhere. Wow, this Bidoof is strong. He's thick with a million C's. I mean, he's not really. I would need. I would need an Alpha Bidoof for that, or an Alpha Barrel actually. Do I have anything stronger than that? Like, no, I don't think so. Maybe Shanks. Maybe Shanks would be able to do. Would be able to do it easier. Oh, I'm gonna get both of them in battle now. Probably. Now you're not. 
Okay, no. Oh, he's paralyzed. That's perfect. Alright, might as well take out some Starlies as well. Because why not? And of course, I'm only going to stream until two hours, so I'm not really focused on completing the story. I will do, if, if I don't complete this quest before um, my stream is over, I'll, I'll keep working on it after my stream. Or before Thursday, or before my next Legends Arceus stream. Before my next Legends Arcade stream, I'll have the, I'll for sure have that done and ready. Oh goodness, here we go. I'll definitely have my have the research level done. So then I don't have so then y'all don't have to watch me do this for an entire stream. Cause there's gonna be a lot of this in future streams but I obviously I won't progress through the story I'm gonna keep that entirely to the streams So I think on Thursday, since it's a brand new song, or songs, whatever it is, on 2023, I might actually do a, t a full 2023 stream for the first time in weeks. I legit haven't done a full 2023 stream since I got back into Connect. And the thing is, my Connect is. Li Where did you come from? My Connect is literally dying. It keeps it disconnects every couple of songs, and it's so annoying. I mean, it'll never good highlight material, but it won't be fun to play with to get good scores on. I think all I have to do is just is just um blast the back of it with air, and it might fix fix it. But I'm not sure about that. But I think it'll be fun to do like private rooms. I might play on the Xbox for that because I'm certainly not doing private rooms on the Switch. I mean, y'all know how crazy it gets. Oh. No, 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 not that. No. This. Y'all know how crazy it gets on Switch for private rooms. And the graphics are not the best compared to Xbox. And I haven't played Just Dance on the Xbox in a while. So I think that'll be fun to do. And of course I can check, I'll definitely be checking out the new songs, new content. That's at 8 o'clock in the morning, as normal, for my Thursday streams as of recent. At least until, and then after next, after this week, so basically next week is when I'll be putting my Thursday streams back to 9 a.m. And I won't be changing that, even if there is a 2024 song added, 
on a Thursday. Unless I know about it beforehand. Like, if they announce it in the in-game feed or whatever. I'm not going to change my stream randomly and may just go live earlier to react to it. Unless I'm ready for a stream earlier, then maybe then I wouldn't see a problem with doing that. Okay, how am I poking if she's looking? Tasks with unimported data is 12. Oh, that's the rapid action. Like, oh my goodness, what is that? Uh, what what detected me? It's the drift loon, isn't it? Excuse me. You're done. You're done. You're done. Wait, I have a sound for that now. You're done. <laughs> You're, You're done. done. You're done. You're done. You're done. I'm doing it again. All right, here we go. I need to, I'm gonna sync it properly with the move. I didn't redeem it. I didn't redeem it. I didn't redeem it. <laughs> You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. I didn't redeem it fast enough. So it didn't sync properly. But whatever. It, it, it's, it's fine. It's fine. No. 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 All I have to do is just say no, and they won't attack you. No. Okay, that's a lie. They're clearly attacking. That's a Mime Jr. And I got like a million Drifloons coming straight for me. I'm gonna engage them in battle. Oh, there's a Drifloon! Oh my goodness. This is gonna make it a lot harder, isn't it? Please tell me I can catch. Oh, nice. Oh no! He ran away. It was probably it was the drifting spot. You're done. You're done. Wait, no. all right, we're doing the sound again. You're done. You're done. You're done. Never mind. <laughs> You're done. You're done. No, I'm n no, he's not. He's not done. He's my Shanks is literally asleep. Oh wait, no. You're done. You're done. You're done. Look at those drift loons. They're flying at like 0 0.2 miles per hour. Like they're lagging. And everything else that's over here. There's a Zubat over there. Give me that Zubat. Not that Zubat. Oh, there's a Weasel. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. 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 Absolutely not. You're done. How do I get back? How do I get back to where I'm supposed to get to? Oh, I have to go that way. How did I get this far over? I forgot. I could sprint. Right, Ten hours later. Look at that Wurmple, he's sleeping. Oh, never mind, no he's not. Not anymore. Ah, oh, there's a Wurmple evolution. Oh, here we go again. Don't mind me getting chased. 
Oh my goodness! Stop! Stop! They literally replace the Starlight with Drifloon. And the second it turns to daytime, they're gonna they're gonna change the Star. They're gonna change back to Starling. And we finally made it back to the professor. I've only caught two Pokemon. I beat up like thirty. Let's go! Let's go! I did it! Finally got a star. I think I have a sound for that too. I got this one. Nice. Period. Period. That's not even the sound I was looking for, but I did it. Yeah, no, I don't have I don't have a cel a celebration one. Oh, what is the point of that? Finally, we made it. Is that a straight up paper? My pocket ass is paper? Are you for real? I knew it was a book, but it's literally just a sheet of paper. That's it. That's it. Anyway, I can now use he heavy balls. And my Pokemon can go up to level 20. And I got the recipe for heavy balls. And revives. Let's go! Probably just gonna buy those if I have to be honest. Alright. I don't know how far I'm gonna get today. There's about 15 minutes. No, not 15, 25 minutes. 15 minutes until until I'm gonna end so there I could get a lot done in 25 minutes but not as much as like I probably as I would probably want because it gets long at some t at times I have to done at the battle her Ugh. the battle of Kari. All right, you're done. You're done. You're done. Just like the sound. <laughs> you're done. You're, you're done. done. You know, I should make one of those. Like, make my own of that. Like, you're done. You're done. That's, that I gotta, that I gotta beat you. That's exactly what she's. That's exactly what she's gonna say. That's exactly what she's gonna say. Um, that wasn't one of the three options. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, your hacker. Where'd you get the Pikachu?
Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's this? Where'd you get the Pikachu from? She's cheating. She's cheating. Oh, we're, we're literally the same level. That's amazing. Oh, I have a bite now? Here we go. Here we go. Tom. Sorry to anybody who likes Pikachu's. Uh, I got quite a few of them up there. I got like one, two, three. I got at least three up there. But uh, don't worry. That Pikachu is okay. Yeah, it did. There's the type chart. Oh, who's th I forgot who was it? Zisu, that's right. Y'all got free ASMR for me. Controller ASMR, we stand. Anyway, what do I have to do? Go to the Obsidian Field Lands to meet May of the Diamond Clan. Right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I think I'm only gonna do the the main story in this playthrough, and then maybe at some point in the future I'll do a set, another playthrough where I do this, the post game. But you know the main the post game story is also part of the story, so I'll probably do. Oh, Volo, please! You're done. You're done. You're done. Uh, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I already did it. I already did that once, accidentally. Alright, yeah, here we go. Let's go over there. It's not Drifloon's trying to attack me. It's back to the Starlies running away every time they see my face. Well, meanwhile, we got Shanks trying to murder me. Strong Pokemon and Munchlax. My Snorlax over there definitely senses the Snorlax energy coming from the screen right now. Look at the Munchlax. Look at him. They, they, there's definitely a connection. A definitely a mental telekinetic connection thing between that Munchlax right there and and Snorlax and the, I have a Munch, and my Munchlax plushie that's over there and my other Snorlax plushie that's right there. There's definitely a connection. It would have been. It would have been. Oh, with the Battle of the Munchlax? I forgot about this. Sorry, Munchlax. Chomp. Oh. 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 I thought I was gonna. I thought I, was, I thought I was gonna be more damage. 
that was not... The other attack did more damage. Oops! Munchlax obliterated my shanks. Alright, bring in the big guns. We're bringing in Rowlet. The grass type. Starter bird owl thing. There we go. Oops. He's okay. I mean, kind of looks a little bit sad that he didn't beat, beat my Pokemon. But... I think he'll be okay. Why don't why do my character's face look like that when when the phone's sort of ringing? I'm trying to save time. Does everybody know about this? Oops! We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that. I dropped the controller. There's an alpha Pokemon up at Deer Track Heights. There's a uh, Cricket Cricket Thought. And I have no Pokeballs. So if I find it, what is that? Oh, that's a Starly. So if I got a shiny, I better catch into four shots. Oh, the Geodude. Of course. Just walk on by. Oh, no, no, no. You're done. You're done. You're done. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Oh, another Geo dude. You're done. You're done. Nope. Nope. No. Nor. And we made it. That sound is a straight up meme. Uh, I'm probably not ready for this battle. Oh well. I'm sure I'll be fine. It's a bug type. It'll be fine. And I think after this, after, after this, I will save and finish up. Ah, oh, this guy's over leveled. Oh no! Rude. You're done. You're done. Oh. 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 I'm moving on. Thunder shock. You're done. You're done. Never mind. 
Should not have done that. <laughs> now you're done. One more. You're done. You're done. There we go. Now you're done. I know I could have caught it. I'm not gonna use it. What's the point of catching it? Oh, he mastered a move. Bidoof mastered a move, and I didn't even use Bidoof in battle. And this is where we get our first ride to Pokemon. Weird here. There he is. There he is. Right there. Yeah, baby. Get him. There you are. Right, this is where I get weirder, right? Or am I wrong? Yeah, I think we can wait. And we got a, we got a base camp set up here. Let's go. The Heights camp. Yeah, whatever. 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 It's fine. Alright, this is where I'm gonna stop at when I when I get my chance to save. Look at, look at Akari's face. She thought, really? Really? You think this guy right here can take on a Cleavor? That is OP. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Really? Are you, are you sure? Are you sure? She got that. She got that uh, sassy face. She's not. The next day. Still won't let me save. Alright, you know what? Fine. I'll do this first. As long as it doesn't take 80 years. There's still 10 minutes left of the stream anyway. It'll be fine. Oops! Stink guy time. Oh, got the Karens. Here, here's the Karens. All right, we got Irida and Adamin. The, the Karens, the the Karens of the Hizui region. Look at her. Excuse me. Are you real? Excuse me. She doesn't even have the wig. Or no, well, she doesn't need a wig to be a Karen. She doesn't have the haircut. Oh, she wait, no, she kind of does. Look at that hair. She's kind of got the cut. She's kind of got the Karen cut. Wait a minute. Karen confirmed?
Also looking at who's on. I know Mice is on. Oh, Indica's on. Oh my goodness. I don't think... I don't think I've ever rated... No, I definitely have. I definitely have. Might rate Indica. To be honest. And K-Dog. And then just some random people that I... That I some random people. The mommy just gonna be want. It's gonna be watching her stream. Yeah, I think there'll be time. Wait, is this right to battle? We're at the battle one of them. Oh goodness. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, here we go. We got Karen back at it again. So, Erida is literally a Karen. And then we have Adamant, who is trying to not be a Karen, but is doing a horrible job at it. Look at that. Mm, no, no. I don't see you. No. Dang, they hate each other. I mean, we already knew that. But they, they're they actually Karens. Honestly, I think... I went with Adamin on my original playthrough. There's a part later in the game where you have to pick one of them to go with. And I went with Adamin because I went in Dialga. So... I think I'm gonna go with Irida in this playthrough. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see later on. Because I don't remember all the dialogue. Alright. This is where we're gonna stop at. For now. So. Let me figure out how to save. No. Not, no. There we go. Save. Save. And we're good. Alright. Let me change scenes. Over to the bigger scene. Alright, so. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure Indica's not going to raid anytime soon. Because that, that's a possibility. But I will be back Thursday morning at 8 o'clock Pacific time. To react to the surprise song. If there is a surprise song. And to try out what makes it beautiful. Even though I've done the choreography before. I know that. I know I know how that one goes. But I'm still going to try it out. And see how the tracking is. If I'm on Xbox. I'll be doing it with phone scoring. So I might start with Switch. and I might, If I do private rooms. Then I'll probably stick with. Um, I'll probably do it on Xbox. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to raid Indica today because I don't I haven't raided Indica in a while and I want to raid Indica. So there's the raid messages. So let me get the I'm not going to get the raid started until I'm done talking because that's having a part why but the uh the uh, stream, I started raiding, and then I didn't finish talking, and then the raid happened, and I was just sitting there talking for like another five minutes, and the raid happened. We're gonna talk about that. That was last year. Anyway, uh, let me make sure my um, browser is working, because... Sometimes, I want to make sure I get sent over in my own raid, because, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I've gotta, I've gotta be in my own raid. So, I'll see everyone on Thursday, I almost said Friday, 
on Thursday. So, and we'll be doing, I, I might do private rooms, because I haven't done private rooms in a while. And I think I'll stick with Switch, even though I have the Xbox version. Or maybe I'll go on Xbox. Like, I don't, I'm not going for full perfects. And I'm not, so, it doesn't matter if I get a full perfect on the phone or on Switch, it's still controller scoring and everything. But, we're going to read Indica, Indica, English. Look. I'll see everyone Thursday. Bye, everyone!